Hey, you guys are gonna do stupid shit right here. <laughs> I'm mentally preparing, okay. Strategy, other than I don't think I'm gonna get many of the tacos, because those are in demand. I'll probably be eating a lot of fries and nachos, and most definitely the Korean bowl. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Let's Talk About It, which is a food truck and now a restaurant here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. Love it down here. It's been great so far, a little cooler today, but I'm still gonna get my Georgia peaches, count me on that. So today I'm here with Randy Santel, Reina Huang, and today we are going to eat 20 pounds of freaking food. That is right, so we're here to do their 20 pound food challenge. So it's like three people, it is 20 pounds of food. It's ridiculous, there's a whack of tacos, there's a whack of nachos, a whack of these like burrito kind of stylish bowls, then there is uh, like fries, like these crazy fries. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna have one hour to complete this big, big, big 20 pound challenge. Should be a lot of fun. So basically, let's get eat it. We got so many people here, like just much, much, much love in Atlanta, Georgia. Just like so many people here. So, so excited, let's have some fun. Let's eat the food. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win, number 889. I am still in Atlanta, Georgia. We have so many people here. I am most excited because tonight and tomorrow, I'm here with these two fine people. We've got our friend Raina over here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Raina Huang. I'm a YouTuber all the way from California, and yes, super excited because this is like our fourth or fifth time collaborating, and then I've collaborated with this guy over here a couple times, my friend Joel, or model versus food, or my mom calls him the Canadian hottie, but go ahead. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. So excited to be down in the great land in Georgia. Of course, Mr. Randy, Miss Rena. Good food, great people. Love it. Peach State, here we are. All right, be sure to check out. Be sure to check out their social media. All the links are down in the description, but we are all at here in Atlanta, let's talk about it, which is a food truck and a restaurant now, but we're the first team to take on their let's talk about it challenge. Now, we've got 20 pounds of food here, which is crazy. They're known for four different things here. They've got bowls, they've got tacos, they've got nachos, and then they've got fries. We've got 20 pounds total, but there's 12 tacos, there are three plates of nachos, there's three plates of fries, and then we've got five of their bowls. The four main meats are Korean barbecue, chicken, shrimp, and then carne asada. All three of us have one hour to finish. Everything here, all of this looks so well prepared and it is gonna be a fun one. But if we fail within the one hour time limit, it's gonna be a lot of money. But if we win, we're gonna get our meal free. They're gonna mail us sweet t-shirts and we'll be the first team up on the wall of fame. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get this challenge started. Yeah. All right, it's the let's talk about a challenge, but today it's also the thank goodness we have Joel on our team challenge, because if need be, we got Joel to clean it all up. But one hour to finish, let's shut up and eat. One, two, three, oh, boom! Oh. All right, we don't really know what we're gonna do, who's gonna eat what, but I am gonna start with this Korean barbecue bowl. It's got their Korean barbecue meat, a bunch of coleslaw, and then to be healthy, We've got a lot of healthy vegetables with this, but we've got quinoa, yes. We could have gone with rice or quinoa. We went with quinoa for some extra protein, but let's do it. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here. Let's talk about it in Atlanta, Georgia. So really cool place. So they have a food truck and now they have a location. So here we are doing their challenge, which was absolutely huge. Yes, we have 20 pounds of, I guess, like taco Mexican fusion, kind of food definitely on the fusion aspect 
So we had some tacos, which were really good. Um, we had some shrimp, like some prawn. We had some uh, different kinds of chicken. One was chicken and pineapple, one was Korean barbecue, um, which was not chicken. Then we also had a uh, jerk chicken as well. So lots of different flavors. We then had the nacho dishes, uh, which were pretty traditional, like nacho tortilla chips, um, queso cheese, pretty much on everything. Then we also had their fries, which were like a big kind of crinkle cut fry, as you can see there, um, which were, you know, whether covered in carne asada, um, you know, again, chicken, kind of the list goes on, but definitely a, a nice mix and variety of food and lots of it. Um, we were eating outside uh, just due to capacity and it was definitely a little colder this evening as well. All right, some churros after this, Joel? Mm. Yeah. We have churros here and I love churros. Yeah, that's pretty good. So if we ever have a dessert, you know what I'm getting. You always have a dessert, Joe. I hope. <laughs> right. And if he doesn't, it's our fault for not pulling our weight. But this food's awesome. I think we're going to. Very good. Very delicious. Go try one of these bowls they have here. What meat? Chicken? Beautiful chicken. We're going to clear the trays as we get them done. So we had one hour to complete the challenge, of which I believe this challenge is actually originally or actually made for four people, like four individuals. So to make it harder, because you guys always say, you know, challenge things, we only had the three of us, me, Reyna, and Randy. I think there's like 20 pounds of just uh, quinoa here, but it is good. And of course, it's always great to meet up with Mr. Randy Santel. This was during Reyna and I's trip together. Um, and of course, this is actually my first time here in Georgia, in Atlanta, like in Georgia at all. And great people down here. Great people, great food, and an awesome spot. Very delicious. Very like the really like the balls. Maybe I have one more to come, but I'm going to just turn some of these fries after, which look very well sauced and dressed as well. So with the birth of this restaurant, uh, let's talk about it being a food truck, all the items are very much like grab and go style items. You had your tacos, then of course you had your different uh, kind of, I'll call them burrito bowls or taco bowls, however you wanna call them. You had your nachos and or your uh, dishes of fries, which would come you know, in like little cardboard or on plates, like disposable plates essentially. And we did have uh, some salsas there as well. Um, at least to this point, never really got into them. Everything had quite a bit of moisture, um, and of course, you know, just it was it was all it was all you know a solid, nice mix. Definitely a bit of variety um, between the, again the nachos, the chips, etc. Um, with that being said, uh, definitely, like I said earlier, it's like a fusion restaurant. Like fusion is definitely a key word because I don't want to call it like a Mexican food or a Mexican restaurant, but it is more it's a mexican fusion restaurant like that's the best way to put it um for simplicity i guess if i had to call it like a one category i'd call it mexican i guess or mexican inspired all right minutes for nine minutes in lots of food but it's very delicious these are uh, carne asada fries uh cheese is definitely added some really nice moisture love the flavors and the texture of beef though We've still got a lot of food. This challenge was undefeated. Um, that being said, hopefully, you know, with the three of us, we're really hoping to be able to beat this challenge, even though it was intended for about four people. And like we said, it was 20 pounds of food and they weighed it all out. It was a lot of food. Let's go, Joel. Thank you. Gotta leave no doubt. That way. A wise man wants to do it. I don't remember his name, but. If I ever saw it, maybe I'd wait a minute. I'm just As I mentioned earlier, we had such a big crowd there. Um, absolutely great energy. Huge thanks to everybody who came out to support. Actually, a funny story to go along with that. I was looking at my comments one time and I saw somebody commented, oh, that's awesome. You said win before you begin. I'm glad you support Joel's channel. <laughs> and I started laughing. <laughs> I do appreciate him using some of the terminology that we have on foodchallenges.com. I feel honored to be able to use such terminology. <laughs> and I'm honored that people thought I also came up with that quote. We've been collaborating since 2018, I think, when Mitch and I were in Eastern Canada. And then her and I have been collaborating for what? Longer than that. She is getting cold, so she's got her jacket on. Well. Her right is that leopard? 
Her leopard blanket. And despite it being a little chilly, very much enjoyed Atlanta, and I definitely would come back to this little place here. So if you're ever in the area, definitely come on, stop on by, let's talk about it, or perhaps you can find their food truck somewhere. So either mobily or at this location here. Almost 13 minutes in, as you can tell, the sun is starting to set here. But we got two nacho dishes left, fries, uh, maybe about half a bowl from Reina, Randy, whenever you're ready, hand me those two tacos. Mm. And uh, we'll get rid of the tacos. Get those things. Capiche. Yeah! Woo! That's it, Joe! I didn't get to have any tacos, which was kind of by choice, because I had 50 tacos a couple days ago. But um, they do look amazing. You want them? No. There you go. But at that, everybody, that's about all the information I believe I have to share with you today. So I will let you get to the rest of the video. You will notice that we're going to play around with our cameras and the lighting a little bit because it was getting very dark out, as you can tell. Um, the sun is setting quite substantially and quite quickly compared to um, you know when we ultimately started eating. So uh, excuse the variation in lighting. And at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully, we can finish this challenge. Um, you know, obviously, we're about 15 minutes in, but we still had like half the food left um, like this thing was a massive 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 challenge and as I'm sure you guys all know eating is not linear so you don't eat at the same speed as you fill up as time progresses you do eat less um, and you eat slower uh, you don't have that same ability from start to finish so ultimately hopefully we can get that win and that everybody I'll let you get to the rest of the video wish all of us luck and at that let me know down below if you guys like Mexican food or well if you don't what do you like Let's hear it. 17 and a half minutes in. I'm going to adjust the lighting on my camera because it's starting to get real dark here. That being said, we're pretty much all down to the last dishes. That happened on one of the first seven days. I'm Roman Catholic, I should know that. Welcome to Leave No Doubt Enterprises. I'm here with CEO. <laughs> No scraps left behind. All right, last bike going to Randy right there. Woo! We finished dead even at 28 minutes. We had an hour, so a very good time. Hopefully, if you guys are interested in this challenge, you are motivated by that because you've got plenty of time. But, Raina, what do you think? It, it tastes good. I'm just really cold. <laughs> she said it tastes good. She's just really cold. So we'll get her inside to warm up after this. But, Joel, what do you think? Honestly, it was really, really good. The flavors were exceptional. Really nice variety. Some unique flavors as well. Wasn't expecting, you know, kind of like Korean barbecue, uh, that, the, the jerk chicken. Just but fantastically flavored, really unique items. I would be back and will be back. What was your favorite? Uh, I really think my favorite was the jerk chicken, and especially in those tacos. Oh, and the uh, chicken and pineapple is actually really good as well. Oh, yes. Agreed. What about you? I like the shrimp. She liked all the shrimp, so we'll get her warmed up. But I've got to say mine was what I started with. I love Korean food, so the Korean barbecue, uh, the bowl at the beginning was great, and the tacos all looked great, but all of that was amazing. So big thank you to Jace and his team here at Let's Talk About It, which is they've been a food truck for four years, 
They've been a restaurant here in Atlanta, Georgia for the past year. They started in January. Big thanks to them for the challenge. We finished 28 minutes. We're going to get our entire meal for free, which is awesome. Once they get the t-shirts in, they're gonna mail us some, and then we'll have the first team photo up on the wall of fame. So big thanks to Raina and Joel for doing the challenge with me. Big thanks to you guys all for coming and watching. And for Joel, what win number was it? 211. 211. And then she does not keep her number, but she's going to start soon. So congrats to the win. Congrats on the win to Raina. And it was overall win number 889 for me. So thank you guys for watching. money and have your name on a brick. Really? App that you go to. And you can find your name where it is late. That's hilarious. They do. They do. Coco. They have the original formula. They even have the vault uh, where they keep the formula. Really? That's funny. I heard, I saw on a uh, video one time a guy here we have Dr. John Pemberton, who invented Coca-Cola in 1886. Apparently this is what he looked like. Who would have thought to mix cocaine in with a liquid and have a party? Dr. Pemberton. Here is the Georgia Aquarium. Lots of Coca-Cola insignias everywhere, which apparently Coca-Cola started in Atlanta. I got so the Centennial Olympic Park, and here they have a big replica of the Olympic torch. 1996, Atlanta Olympics. And they got different monuments to different sports. This is track and field, as you can tell, it's somebody like running and or jumping in the progression. Uh, the Centennial Park's actually closed, surprisingly, like we can't get into it. But uh, yeah, so we'll have to see it from the perimeter. Here's another little monument, and a gentleman, and this thing says, the first true believers, the Atlantic Olympic quest began an impossible something. It would not have happened without time, and then it has a whole bunch of names and stuff, so there you go. I guess it was quite a feat to get the Olympics here. And here is the official Olympic symbol. Again, all in regard to Centennial Olympic Park, which is quite beautiful. Definitely some really nice scenery down here in Atlanta. Very, very nice. A lot of hotels and a lot of different uh, Coke adverts because the Coke thing is just down the road. And here's the main CNN center. Of course, a while ago, during protests and stuff, there was a window shattered. That's right, right there, still not fixed, but that big, 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 huge building. And this thing just wraps around and goes for forever. So, home of CNN, Atlanta, Georgia. Here we have the big Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Of course, there's also Mercedes-Benz uh, Stadium in New Orleans, but here is the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. A couple years old and it looks very big and large. More of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium there, another angle. And here we have a big statue of a gentleman doing like the gymnastic stuff on a ring and they got, uh, they got a big like fountain pool thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And here we have a great big ball reflective mirror thingy thing which is pretty cool. I'll walk up you can see it's a mirror. Hello there's me and then up there which I didn't get on video there's a great big uh, falcon which is totally made of like mirror and glass shards which is really really cool. And that falcon used to be down here but they moved it behind the gates. It looks a little focused or stern. But yeah they got a big fountain thing thing. And there's this thing in the middle. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And there is the big falcon right there. 
right there the big falcon made out of like basically mirrors for the Atlanta Falcons get it home of the Atlanta Falcons some more down at town there's a CN center from the back of it so this is by the stadium but yeah it's uh it's very there's the uh, Georgia World Congress Center but it's definitely slow very slow down here arguably you could use the term dead but uh yeah hey it gives you a good perspective or a new way to see the city so pretty cool it's a state farm arena right there and no shortage of stuff concerts happening there and yeah pretty cool and here we have the georgia peach the beautiful silver shiny peach here in the peach state also some people argue that this is a butt but we're gonna go with the fruit and the peach so hell right delicious peaches yeah.